It feels like there's been a lot more violent crime committed by juveniles lately. It's not your imagination. Tonight, police in Pueblo are sounding the alarm, saying they've got numbers to prove that. Good evening, I'm Bart Bedsell. And I'm Heather Skoll. Thanks for making us your choice for your news at 10 o'clock. Kids as young as 13 years old are being arrested for murder in Pueblo. It's a disturbing trend in the Steel City, and according to new numbers obtained by 13 investigates, it's one that has seen a sharp increase in recent years. Investigative reporter Sean Rice has been diving into the issue for months now. He joins us live in our newsroom tonight with more on those alarming figures. Sean. Yeah, Barton Heather, accurate data points quantifying youth crime can be tough to come by. When youths are prosecuted, it's typically carried out behind closed doors, leaving the public without a lot of access to their records. But organizations like the Pueblo Police Department say the people they're placing in handcuffs are trending younger and younger, and their own internal numbers reflect that. You see your, your grandchild or your son or your daughter that's 12, and you're like, how is that possible? Sergeant Franklin Ortega with the Pueblo Police Department says arresting kids as young as 12 and 13 for crimes as serious as murder has become an all-too-common occurrence. That includes the arrest of a juvenile thought to be responsible for a murder in June. That boy just recently celebrating his 13th birthday. It just seems like the family structure, uh, it's, it's not there. They, they don't have people that tell them, don't do that, you shouldn't be doing this. From 2019 to 2022, crimes against persons and property by kids under the age of 18 have risen by 28%, leaving many in law enforcement to conclude the problem may be systemic. The seriousness has gone way up. Um, it used to be that we would have one or two adult filings a year. Uh, now it's probably eight, uh, maybe more. Uh, just because of the serious nature of the crimes that are occurring. That's Ann Meyer, the sole juvenile prosecutor in Pueblo County. She says they're trying young kids in adult court because their crimes warrant removing the kid gloves, often leading to sentences in adult prison. The victims of youth crime are the victims of adult crime. It's the same people. Uh, kids don't tend to victimize other kids. Sometimes they do, but in the more serious cases, uh, it's often just people. Just people, like the crime spree earlier this year that saw masked teenagers carjacking and even shooting at victims as they were leaving their homes to go to work. Their crimes described as completely random and unprovoked shows of violence. It doesn't matter that it's a kid who offends against you. You have the same you know, monetary, physical pain. You know, all those things are the same for you. Um, and yet you have a totally different system being applied. To this point, there is not a single person involved in Pueblo City government that has publicly sought ways to reduce youth recidivism. We'll continue looking into the reason for that over the coming months. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. A disturbing trend. Sean, thank you.